So in this video, we're gonna give you a brief introduction to how to use Sky Safari Lite to navigate around the night sky. The first step, of course, is to launch the app. I'm gonna tap Sky Safari Lite on our iPhone here. And when the app launches, you'll get a view of the stars um, that are overhead right now. So you can use your finger to swipe around the star chart to look at different parts of the sky. Um, the green area is the area below the horizon right now. So those stars are currently what's underground. And uh, you can also pinch and zoom uh, to expand the field of view. You can also use, we have hot corners, uh, plus and minus in both uh, left and right lower hand uh, corner to zoom quickly in and out of the field of view. Um, that's much, much easier than pinching and zooming, if you're, especially if you're trying to look at a very small object. For example, Venus here in the center, you know, pinching and zooming would take a long time to, to zoom into the point where you could actually see detail on Venus. Much, much easier just to use the hot corners to zoom in and out. To do this, just keep your finger pressed down in the lower left or right corner. Okay, so that's a basic overview of how to navigate around the sky uh, using your, your pinching and zooming iPhone gestures. A much cooler way to do this is to use the iPhone's built-in compass and altimeter to give you a live dynamic view of what's behind the iPhone. To activate the compass and altimeter, shake the phone. Uh, so now as we move the iPhone around, um, as we move up and down or east or west, the iPhone is actually generating a view of what stars are behind the iPhone right now. So suppose you're on a camping trip or suppose you're out, out of doors and you want to find out, hey, what is that bright star in the sky over there? So you'd move the phone around and as you're getting closer, you can find out that that bright star is actually the planet Venus. And um, that's a, a brief overview of how you use the iPhone to find out what's overhead in the sky right now. Here's a similar problem. Suppose you want to find something in the sky, but you don't know where to look. Suppose you want to find, for example, the planet Jupiter. I'm going to tap our search button, tap planets, select Jupiter. And now when I tap the center button, I have an arrow that tells me where to move the phone, which way to, to look to find Jupiter. So what this is telling me now is that Jupiter is right over there in that direction. So that's how you would use Sky Safari Light to find something in the sky. You can tap on any object on the screen to select it. Again, we'll use Venus as our example. And uh, blinking crosshairs around the object indicates that it's selected. You can double tap it to bring up information about the object. Um, here are all your facts and figures about Venus. Uh, when does it rise? Uh, rises at 4.30 in the morning this morning. Um, when does it transit? When does it set? How far away is it? All the, the, the facts and figures. You can tap the description button to get a description, an essay of information about the object, um, including lots of pictures. Uh, you can tap on any of these blue links to, uh, to expand to get to the, um, the full image. And uh, that's how you can find out more information about um, an object in the sky.